Hey, how you doing? I'm Steve Minnick. I work here at the Media Center, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, lighting in uh, Studio B right now. Basically, lighting in Studio B, all the lights are run by, or controlled, I should say, by the lighting board. Um, there's lots of buttons and lots of faders and sliders. Um, it might seem a little intimidating at first, but uh, in fact, it's uh, pretty easy to know the basics and be able to uh, light your show. A uh, fader or sub, that's all listed through here, um, is labeled from 0 to 10, 10 being uh, full and 0 obviously being no power set to the fixture. All the faders on the uh, lighting board um, are numbered 1 to 48 and they coincide with all the numbers in the ceiling that are labeled uh, with a dimmer number of the same channel. Uh, we've set up the board um, to basically run uh, channel 1 equals dimmer 1. That's probably more information than you need to know, but basically the number 1 will bring up the number 1 uh, dimmer in the ceiling and whatever light you have connected to that, it'll bring up power to that particular fixture. If you come into the studio and the very basic thing you need to do is uh, three-point lights um, for, let's say, an interview with somebody, um, you could come in, look at the board, and you should make sure that these few things are taken care of. You should make sure that your master sub is all the way up, master fader or sub. You should make sure that your blackout uh, button just above that is not lit. And you should make sure, make sure that you're in stage, meaning there's a button labeled stage, you should make sure that's lit. Um, if there's anything on your monitor that's in red and it's at a certain level, that light is on right now. Um, to release that, you would hit uh, release, which is on its R-E-L on the lighting board here, and hit it twice. That will release anything that someone might have done before you. That may, they may have, they may, maybe they left the light up at a certain level and you need to clear that off. From there, you could go up. Um, you could look at the area that you're shooting, look up in the air, uh, or look on the wall, see what you could plug into, or if there's lights that are already plugged in that you just need to adjust to where you're shooting, you could go solely by the subs alone. So let's say you were going to use lights uh, 4, 8, and 12, you could simply bring those up right on the board to a certain level, um, 4, 8, 4, 8, and 12, just bringing the subs up, you should get power to that light. If you don't, Perhaps the light is, you should check all the things that I already mentioned, but you should also check to make sure maybe there's a, uh, maybe the bulb is out on the, on the light itself, um, which is a possibility. Uh, now that you know a little bit about the lighting board and how it works, um, we'll go take a look at what good lighting looks like on camera when you're using the lighting board. <laughs> Okay, we'll first talk a little bit about um, three-point lighting and a little, just uh, basics of three-point lighting and a little bit of background light we'll do for this as well. We'll just set up a basic scene with Brad here who's uh, sitting we're going to do a, a basic interview setup with him. Um, so we'll just talk about what, what looks uh, uh, good on camera. Um, the first thing we'll do is you'd go up, you'd, you'd check what your lights are plugged into up in the ceiling or in the wall. And those numbers, once again, correspond with what's on the lighting board. Um, you walk over to the lighting board and you can bring each of the faders up. Um, our key light is plugged into, uh, happens to be plugged into number 10. And it could bring that up a certain level. Um, I'll bring it up to full. Bringing up, up and down our key light, um, we've set the iris here for our, our demo purposes. Um, so that uh, bringing our light up to a level that we like, that is good exposure for Brad here. Um, I'll bring that down for a second so you can see actually what uh, our backlight is going to be doing. Um, and this is our background light. Just a little bit of light that is lighting the back of the set. Um, it can add to the mood um, or the look that we have. Um, so I'll bring that up to uh, a nice looking level there. Um, this is our backlight and you can see that's hitting Brad on his head and on his shoulders. And what that's going to do is that's going to separate him out. Uh, from the actual background, give us a little bit of depth in the picture. Um, so I'll set that at uh, a nice level. Um, if you want more of a, a harder edge um, or, or a brighter backlight, you just don't want it to over overpower the scene. That, that's at full right there, and that's probably a little bit too much. Um, just for the sake of demo purposes, I'll bring it down to probably about uh, 50% since I know we're lighting the uh, 
key light uh, probably around around full. Just for uh, demo purposes, uh, you should know that um, you know don't just go by. Uh, you know, your key light should be at full, your backlight is at 50%. Um, it'll vary depending upon what the exposure that you want to get or the look that you're getting in the camera. So all these numbers are basically arbitrary. The last light that we have uh, set up is a, uh, a floor light that we actually have just running out uh, on the floor. Um, it's a light on a stand. Um, it doesn't have to be on a stand, it could be up in the ceiling. Um, and that's just going to add a little bit on Brad's right side or camera left. And I'll turn that on, and you'll see it fills in just a little bit um, on his right cheek and his right side. If I take it out, you'll see a little bit more of a, kind of a dramatic look, or somewhat of a dramatic look. We're, we're lit, we're lit, we lit him fairly evenly um, with his key light. Uh, he's not directly underneath it or in line with it, but he's a little bit off center. So we might want a little bit of fill just to kind of fill it in if we want a pretty even look. Overall, this look, this look right now, we're getting a lot of uh, uh, spill um, from the fill light on the background. And I'd actually, just for the, the, the sake of uh, this demonstration, I'd probably lose the fill light. And I'd probably bring, bring up the uh, background light a little bit. Here's the background light. And I might even bring down the key just a little bit, just to emphasize. Right now we're getting, if you can see, we're getting a lot of spill off the back, um, which I don't really love. Um, I'd probably uh, either move the position of the light or move where Brad is a little bit maybe further away from the background so we get a little less spill off the back, as you can see right there. Um, so let's just settle, we'll settle on this level, take just a little bit off the background that we had before. That's not a bad look that we have there right now. Um, basically what we have now is key, a back, and a background light, which is lighting the windows above uh, behind Brad.